Hi everyone, uh, myself and Arun Kumar uh, from SNS College of uh, Technology in the Department of ECE. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, pipelining and parallel processing approaches. Uh, pipelining is the process of uh, fetching the uh, next information based on the input signals. Uh, so here we are going to uh, see about how the uh, pipeline has been fetched with the help of an ICs. So assume that uh, the critical path uh, in this logic block uh, is uh, uh, based on a power supply unit. It allows the maximum sampling frequency of clock uh, based on the propagation delay. So let us consider this diagram. Uh, uh, input is given uh, for an one particular register and the corresponding register output has been fetched into the logic functions and it can be connected to the next register and we can get the output from the output terminal. So the process of fetching the uh, information to the next uh, next register uh, with the help of previous one. So this is what uh, the pipelining process has been uh, performed. Uh, so initially the clock pulses as uh, given to the uh, register, uh, the clock pulses has been generated based on the input signals, input signals. Then we can uh, uh, check the output of the corresponding uh, pipelining process uh, based on the clock pulse. Uh, let us consider this diagram. Uh, if you are giving input as uh, input 1, input 2, input 3 uh, based on the clock pulses, then the output has been generated only in the second pulse because the process of fetching the information, so the output of the uh, first register has been given to the input of the next register so that it just create an uh, output 1 for an input 2 because the output of the input 1 is given to the next input 2 so that it, ca it can generate the output 1 in the input 2 terminal uh, for that uh, we we are we don't have any uh, any clock cycles in that uh, output signals first signals first input 1 signals so likewise all the process are formed in the pipelining approaches uh, the formula which is given for pipelining is uh, total uh, capacitor into VDD square into F clock. So clock pulse has been uh, calculated uh, by using this uh, pipelining process. And next one is uh, tau is equal tau is nothing but your delay. Uh, in your pipeline, uh, we can add more number of uh, registers. Uh, Sometimes it may create an error because of uh, delay so that we can able to calculate the delay also so that they are mentioned here tau p for calculating a delay input to output n is equal to total number of uh, registers after that we can able to calculate the uh, clock pulses of the total time duration uh, next one is a pipeline approach for multiple number of registers uh, so in that uh, diagram they are connecting more number of register based on these stages uh, first one is clock pulse is given to the all the pipelining process. Next one is input is applied for all the terminals. Then the output has been generated based on the input and their stages. If, our, if, uh, if the input stage is uh, combined with the next uh, uh, stage 2 means, then the uh, total uh, input has been given to the next stage, stage n. So, uh, the, so that uh, the output of the corresponding stage n only, only uh, generated the clock pulses. So likewise, the uh, stages and step input has been forwarded based on the pipelining process. Pipelining approaches already we discussed uh, the total number of delays and the total number of uh, power consumes has been calculated uh, by using this uh, pipeline process. And moreover, uh, we can able to calculate the delay also. The delay uh, tau p is delay. So delay is also calculated based on the input and output terminal with respect to total number of registers. Our next one is parallel processing approach hardware replications. So in the terminal, we are adding a more number of uh, register uh, in addition to the parallel manner so that we can able to calculate uh, the output terminal based on the MUX because we are using more number of input terminals in a parallel mode so that I am uh, uh, we are going to take a MUX terminal in this uh, pipelining process approach. So in this, uh, the generation of the clock pulses has been for framed into uh, initially the clock is applied for all the terminals. Then the, based on the input only, the clock is generated. 
so initially uh, all, uh, we can add uh, two terminals in the same uh, multiplexer so that uh, the, the corresponding uh, output has been generated for input 1 input 2 up to uh, n number of inputs so likewise uh, all the uh, input terminals has been uh, uh, connected in the uh, processing pipeline processing as a hardware replication button and next one is uh, hardware application calculations has been uh, performed by uh, total number of reference circuits added to the multiplexer circuit with respect to the parallel connections uh, greater than or equal to 1 by n square n equal to total number of uh, clock pulses given to the entire unit next one is architectural level approach so, so in that uh, uh, we can add uh, buses uh, for connecting all the terminals so that uh, we can able to forward the uh, same supply to all the terminals so in this method uh, we can add a bus terminal for two uh, based approaches uh, so that uh, we can uh, have a, a same uh, voltages for all the busing terminals uh, describe some techniques uh, used to implement parallel processing in VLSI. Uh, so the, these stages has been uh, framed based on the following parameters. Pipelining, multiprocessing, SIMD, single instruction, single multiple data, uh, MIMD, multiple instruction, multiple data. So these are the uh, constraints we can use this uh, VLSI uh, design process. Thank you.